From Airbnb to VRBO, it's estimated Edmonton has over 4,000 short-term rental properties. And for the last three years, Devin Beggs has lived next to one. You know, it's just like we're being invaded by these these places. He says he has dealt with loud noise and trespassing from tenants and no action has been taken against the homeowners or renters. And it's like living next to a hotel but there's no security, there's no front desk person. Councillor Jans is calling for change. He's pushing a motion to City Council to limit homeowners from renting out their short-term rental properties to no more than 90 days a year and requires the owner to remain on the premises during that time. These steps we've seen are being taken, undertaken in New York and other cities and, and they seem to be a very reasonable compromise allowing short-term rentals in some occasions um, and, uh, and uh, also balancing the need for housing and, and maintaining the housing stock. But for homeowners like JJ Hoffman who rents out a garden suite, this is concerning. Our families in Brazil so when they get to come they have the opportunity to be able to stay close while still having a bit of their own personal space. Um, but it allows us to supplement our income as well as provide a different housing option for people who need it. Hoffman says there will always be a need for short-term rentals, despite Edmonton not being a huge tourist city. So most of the rentals that we actually end up having short-term are people like folks coming into Edmonton for, for cancer treatment. They need a nice, comfortable place to stay that isn't a hotel. They get the comforts of home. They can make their own meals. They stay for seven to ten days, sometimes a little bit more. But we also host people like students who are taking courses at the university for a couple of months. In the midst of a housing crisis, Jan says short-term rentals constraint housing supply and leads to increased rent. We have 49,000 families in core housing need here, so this is a dire situation. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.